Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to have probably not the most pleasant video. Let's go into the battle. Today we are going to finish ranked battles on two accounts. Um, I will play multiple games, um, live recordings for you obviously and we will try to do our best. Uh, now, as many of you know, I have a couple of accounts on which I am playing. Option, uh, well, the number one account is obviously O server, everyone knows about this. The number two account is the root server where I'm going up to 100% of the mark of excellence, right? Um, and we are first of all dealing with root server account. I'm missing five chevrons. My performance was very, very good. Um, and I'm very, very happy with my performance overall. What have I done? L server is completely different story. Um, in L server, um, unfortunately, I am failing and I am playing like a um, big caco. Um, can I complain about this? To be fair with you, I do not really think I can. Um, I got what I deserve and I simply wasn't delivering in the season, right? And I am struggling to even get into the gold league, which is, uh, which for me is, to be fair with you, not uh, the hardest thing ever. And uh, um, in fact, there wasn't a single season where I finished in the, in, in, in the silver, you know, all the time it was gold. So let's see um, how the things will go. So first map which we have is Abbey, right? In Abbey we have... Um, we have obviously ranked battles and uh, uh, if you are wondering fellas what is the ranked battles how does it work it's pretty much 10 versus 10 uh, situation it looks like random battles but it matters where you are finishing in the leaderboard right pretty much that's the biggest difference so you need to be consistent you need to be smart and you need to play well pretty much in order to deal with this right this is how the things are looking like Meanwhile, our crans are trying to make a bit of pressure like this and in fact that means we can um, make a bit of pressure for the enemies in this way, hopefully. I want to take the middle and I hope, fellas, we can do this without losing any hit points whatsoever. So far, so good. We went through this like nothing and I am feeling pretty good. Excellent, fellas. Very, very good. So now, what are we supposed to do at this point? Um, I really like how our setup is looking like and by saying I really like how our setup is looking like I mean about the tanks what we have and our team is making quite a humongous pressure like this. What I would love to see in this game I would love to see a nice angle to uh, punish enemy TBPs right, who are playing in the open field here. That's good I am relatively lucky and I'm relatively happy we traded 2 to 1 so we are winning the trades but it's still um, by any shape or any form not ideal meanwhile I am preparing for the zombie apocalypse which could happen right if this STB is making pressure like this and we are sitting relatively well right now this STB is thinking he is having a great time and uh, in fact he does he has a great time fellas let's try to drop down like this and hopefully our guys will punish this STB once or twice and at this point I am thinking how to um, repush this side because I think and I believe fellas we can easily be the living crap out of this STB unless he's going to be a smart cookie and he's going to take the same position which I took. Let's see, let's check it out. Luckily he's not uh, that good and that's great for us and he is officially dead. Beautiful. Very very nice game against the STB. We still have um, pretty much half of our hit points left and we are feeling relatively fine. If enemies will try to make some pressure we are going to make sure we are decapping the base, right? Um, that's all we need to do pretty much meanwhile three seconds on the timer and we have a clip which we are going to use with a big smile on our face to punish leo although it wasn't for free tvp managed to find a couple of shots to us as well definitely not ideal but i believe we are going to deal with this game okay I can't complain whatsoever, that was a great play by the TVP, I did not saw that one coming and he pushed me pretty well. No complaints, no regrets. Let's teleport into the end of this game and let's see what do we have. And we are back fellas in the scoreboard, we scored in the number 3 position which is very very nice and I'm super happy with this. Um, and that was a great game fellas. 
So yeah, that's the first battle, that's the first double. I still need to get my chevron, obviously, and I think we are going to go with a Progetto. I know it is not that powerful tank nowadays, um, at least I think Progetto used to be so much more powerful before, but it will work just fine. Anyways, let's teleport to the game, shall we? And we are in action, so what do we have, fellas? We have a Tundra, we have ranked battles. Okay, um, I think we are going to start everything relatively slowly and we are going to take this typical position in the goal 5, goal 6 and we will try to punish enemies who will try to punish our crossing forces. I know it sounds weird to punish enemies who will try to punish our forces but this is how the things are looking like. Overall in the ranked battles obviously the best way uh, to play this game mode is to stay together uh, is to stick together and try to get as much use as you physically and possibly can while following the lemming train for obvious reasons. Um, as you can see unfortunately we did not uh, manage to punish absolutely anyone like this and ooh T62 a you mother trucker. I have an idea. Since we have two gentlemen sitting here and I do not really think enemies are playing on top yet, we are going to use this opportunity and we are going to make a hardcore pressure for this T62A. If my calculations are correct, we should be able to eliminate him from the game like there is no tomorrow without bigger problems whatsoever, right? So let's see. Meanwhile, unfortunately, my calculations are not that great as I initially thought it is going to be. Okay. That's completely fine, I am accepting this and I will try to get as much use as I physically and possibly can in a bit different way, right? So as you can see, this guy is sitting here and this is not looking very great, so we are going to get in the best case scenario one clip, right? And still it is very debatable, will we get that clip? Yeah, that wasn't the smartest choice by me, I guess, but it is how it is, no complaints, no regrets, fellas. All I can do at this point, I can accept my responsibility for being silly goose. Meanwhile, luckily for us, uh, we have two guys who actually supported us and we survived. We are survivors of the shit plays of me. Once again, it is completely fine. I am recording the video 11 in the evening, right? So obviously the time when we are doing recording is not ideal and this is not perfect. Uh, my brain is not that fresh, but in the same time, I cannot cry that much. I am feeling um, well anyways. Okay, nice. So what do we have, fellas, and how we can play this battle? At this point, Oi, 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 you mother tracker, very, very smart play by this gentleman, and there is nothing what I can change about this, I think I will go like this, unfortunately I am going to miss the shot, that sucks, I'm going for another one anyways, and I should be able to smack him like this, okay, it looks like we are dead meat here, that's okay, um, and that's fine fellas, I am not crying too much after our performance or after my performance when I made a mistake to uh, be a bit um, too aggressive. I simply did not saw that one coming budget sitting in the middle of the nowhere, but he got me pretty well, so uh, yeah, I can only accept this. Meanwhile, let's teleport into the ending of this game. The games are going to be very, very quick, games will be blitz, but you will see the overall environment of the ranked battles last stages, right? And this should be interesting I think let's go and we are back fellas we got once again double chevrons and we are one chevron of finishing uh, ranked battles on this account very nice I did not play this game ideally by any shape or any form so I deserved what I got uh, once again I can't complain too much we made a bit of the profits as well although I don't really think we can call this profits anyways uh, let's go for one more game with TVP since it is one of my favorite tanks why the heck not? Let's teleport into the game. And we are back with the steps. Okay. Um, step, step, steps. What kind of decision we can make? I think at first we are going to be, I would say, greedy. 
at first we are going to take this position here so if we are going to see let's say Progetto TVP for 30 UEBR Progetto we are going to clip the living hell out of that uh, um, person right so this is quite straightforward and this could work obviously if we are going to see their sniper schnitzels um, let's see can our, our EBR spot for us or we need to do that by ourselves? Once again, at this point I am just chilling and I am just waiting uh, till the right moment. There is no need to go to the one or another side by yourself. It is just simply not really worth it, fellas. I can promise you that. Um, playing solo in one or another side can work only if you are EBR or whatever else light tank uh, who, who can simply... <coughs> run away right if the um, situation is becoming uh, too hot or um, just simply bad okay so at this point we are still waiting and unfortunately oh there is no unfortunately beautiful this progetto is not feeling very happy and i am definitely feeling happy beautiful very very nice that was pretty solid clip ebr is going like a tourist through the middle of the field he's spanking me in the face but once again nothing what i can change about this and nothing what i can do um at this point we are just waiting we have all time in the world of tanks fellas we have all time in the world of tanks so let's see do they have the same TVP or same Progetto here? By the looks of it, they don't. Actually, probably they do, but uh, I simply cannot find a decent angle to this gentleman. Let's see. Um, Super Conqueror over peaking. I'm trying to track him. Unfortunately, I failed. That's on me. At this point, I am going to load some heat ammunition for obvious reasons. And you know what? The situation is looking definitely way worse than it was looking like before. Uh, since our team is getting flanked by quite some guns here. But you know what? I am not going to run. It is a bit too early to do so. Uh, and in the same time, I am hoping our team maybe will start to make a bit of pressure towards this side. Um, the reason being is if our team will start making pressure like this we can simply jump through the middle and we can be the living crap out of the enemies but for that we need to be relatively aggressive if that makes sense speaking about aggression uh, Progetto is playing literally in the middle of the nowhere so you know what if I would do everything properly here there is a chance I am going to clip him without any problems whatsoever let's see can we do that and one and two and garage nice beautiful very very good i think uh, i think we are done already kind of if we are winning this battle we are done on this account and i am happy how i performed uh, and what have i done it was actually pretty nice and everything went in very very good way Speaking about the good ways, I am going to relocate a bit and I will try to be smart in this way. So how we can be smart? First things first, I will try to be the living crap out of the Mr. Mouse who is sitting here, right? I simply need to eliminate him from the game. Mouse is dead and now Super Conqueror. I'm paying attention what is happening in my back and yes, I see that clearly TVP is trying to claim my life and probably my life is claimed by the Rhino. That's okay. I am feeling relatively good. So at this point we can only wait and to see are we going to be on top or not really. Let's see fellas. Let's report to the scoreboard. And we are back fellas. We are coming back with victory. We are first in the leaderboard and that's it gg finito we finish a rank at battles with relative ease in this um, server right all and all i am very very happy with my performance and we scored with uh, uh, and we scored with 184 general performance everything is looking great everything is looking good and we made uh, it work re relatively well now uh, just for sports interest uh, speaking about the server if you need if you want to get into the gold league you need like 112 percentage plus let's say 115 to be safe right um, and once again the main reason why it's relatively low because of the population how populated this server is now 
When we are done with this hip hip hooray, now let's go for a real grind and uh, oh server. I will show you percentages of mine. Uh, I'm ashamed of this, but I am not afraid to say so. I did not had the best time and the best session. So let's teleport there. Let's go. And we are back in the O server. So let's see how the things are looking like here. Yeah, the general performance 130%. So the difference is 50% minus from the other account. Uh, and I have two bonus battles. After that, this is going to be pain. Uh, and we need uh, pretty much, we need uh, 14 chevrons in order to finish everything. So uh, fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, wish me luck. I would love to get uh, two quads, but uh, everything is depending on me. How am I going to play and what I'm going to do? Let's teleport into the action. Let's go. And the map which we are getting is Lakeville. Okay, this is not going to be very easy. Uh, obviously, speaking about our performance and what we're supposed to do, um, our options are pretty limited, uh, but this is completely fine. Uh, I have a feeling we are going to go into the city pretty much instantly. And from the city, hopefully, we will find someone who is making one or another mistake, right? Um, maybe they are going to have, I don't even know, EBR in the city or something, right? That's what we are looking for and that's what we would love to see. We know enemies have a sniper schnitzel scare because that's how our EBR is taking one for the team. And once again, this is understandable. Let's see. Um... Our team made a good decision, in my humble opinion, not to make that hardcore pressure in the 1-2 line. And now if we, if enemies have a fewer guns than we do, uh, we are sitting well and we are booming and we are enjoying ourselves. Let's see. Can we find a good angle for, uh, for those TVPs sitting up here? And I would say we can. I would say we can. Okay, that was pretty nice clip. Beautiful, beautiful start of this game. We have three out of... Um, we have three out of four. This is looking very, very nice for us. And we need to get involved somehow. I'm very, very well aware of the ATBR going through the middle of the field. But in the same time, I do not really think I could change something and I could do something for this gentleman. And our team is making a hardcore pressure here. This is exactly what I want to see. And um, I have a feeling this um, CS63 will regret his life choices. Now... Speaking about regretting his life choices, we are going to make pressure for this Mr. Vaza sitting here. I will take one for the team because I just do not care. And we will try to um, clip the living crap out of him, right? Beautiful. Two out of two out of four is not ideal, but I could have uh, fired gold ammunition as well. So I can't cry for, oh, how dare I not to penetrate. You know, skill, it's your fault. You could shoot gold think about this you could shoot gold okay moving on next what do we want to do at this point at this point we are thinking how to get some uh, free shots here and as you can see Progetto is running away Vaza is running away and pretty much everyone is running away at this point okay that's fair at this point, I would love to load uh, heat ammunition, and this is exactly what I am doing. And our team is winning on a couple of guns. Our team is winning on quite a bit of the hit points as well, which is always nice and always welcome, and we want to get involved with it. Now, what we can expect from the enemy team, as you can see, they are having pretty decent uh, uh, defense lines. They have a Kran wagon who is coming here and he will try to play a hold down here as well. Uh, so what I want to do, I want to try to cross like so. Luckily for us, Kran wagon is not paying that much attention. He has only one in the magazine and we are going to clip him like there is no tomorrow. That's one, that's two, that's three and that's dead beautiful and at this point we can easily go into the base and cap them out um this could work very very well in our favor but in the same time i want to believe um enemies obviously will try to go for a base defense right uh, we have couple of gentlemen who are capping that's okay in the worst case scenario we can come back as well uh, to cap the base right 
and we have a crown in the open field as well that's very good and i would love to punish this crown my aim is looking very badly so at this point i would love to I would love to go back um, while I'm reloading. Also, we need to keep in mind one more thing. There is one enemy gentleman who is trying to um, who is trying to go for a base defense this way. So, if they have someone, we are obviously ready to shoot. Um, if they will have anyone, this is going to be TVP for obvious reasons, right? So let's wait for him. Let's wait for TVP. TVP is going, fellas. He has no time whatsoever. And you know what? I want to give him a bit of time. I want to give him a bit of time. We are completely fine. And TVP is not even uh, trying to return for a base defense. Okay, let's cap the base then. We are sitting very, very well. Uh, it is not going to be a quad, uh, but it is how it is. Um, I could play a bit better here. Right? So let's teleport to the scoreboard. Charl we. Well, 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 luck is on my side, uh, we have a quad. I don't know how, I don't know why, but we have a quad. So, if you would pay attention here, um, we finished it with a 2.5,000 damage, no kills and 600 assisting damage, and it is enough to secure the quad for us. Okay, fair enough, thank you very much, we appreciate you, game. Um, what is the other tank we are going to play with? We are going to play with Progetto and we are hoping for a quad as well. Fingers crossed. Uh, um, and let's try to do our best. Let go. And we are back, fellas. So what do we have? We have Ansk. We have, uh, obviously, ranked games. And we need to get a quad with a tank which doesn't have DPM in the city map. This is going to be a hard one, but we will try to do our best. And we are starting our journey from this typical bush here. It works just great, so there is no need to try to research a bicycle or a wheel however you would call this and at this point we are pretty much chilling and we are relaxing right i am feeling relatively well and i do not really want to shoot anyone yet uh, it is way 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 too early for this plus on top of that we have a br in this bush so he would spot if someone would try to um, make pressure this way now Speaking about the pressure, there is EBR who is going through the open field and we are going to try to clip the living crap out of this uh, gentleman, right? He's trying to escape and he is dead. I think fully unloading was a good option for us considering, uh, um, considering the reward. We hit all of our shots, right? And we got a kill for ourselves. So that's Gucci. Now... At this point, we need to kind of wait until we have a chance to clip this object. And believe me, we are going to have a chance to do so. All we need to do at this point, at this point, we need to wait until we will have Copal in the magazine. Speaking about Copal in the magazine, TVP is going through the middle. He is trying to clip our EBR. Our EBR is dead. Uh, kind of well deserved. And at this point, I really want to smack TVP a couple of times. And we did that. That's okay. We haven't lost a single uh, bit of the hit points. This is completely fine. And I am considering my life choices to support our team against this Progetto who is trying to uh, make a crossfire. Right? This is about the time. So at this point, we can and we will try to get involved like this and we will start shooting him um, in the face uh, approximately five seconds from now on we are pretty much done and uh, we are going to spank him that's one beautiful that's two that's very very good that's three okay very nice and we have a object here now at this point I do not really care about my hit points, am I going to lose HP or I am not going to lose HP, it literally means nothing to us. So at this point we are trying to make as much pressure as we physically and possibly can and I have a feeling we will be able to do that. Very nice tracking shot, beautiful and TVP is pretty much, um, he is dead fellas, he is dead, he is obviously on the reload and luckily for us we are um, quicker than E4 is. And and I believe we are quicker than a crown is, but the question is, are we going to be able to smack him in the face before he will die? E4 is aiming and, ooh, Kranwagen managed to kill him. Okay, 
Yeah, this is debatable, fellas. Are we going to get enough use um, to get a quad? Um, probably not. Okay, uh, that's completely fine. If we have a quad, we need six more uh, points. Uh, if we are not having a quad, we need eight more points. And once again, this is completely fine. This is okay. This is as much as we are going to get. Obviously, we do not get a quad here. That's okay. So we need eight points points in order to finish ranked battles and now the grind begins i love tvp with all my heart so let's go into the game with tvp let's go okay so the map is steps the map is steps now the question is how we can get some use we are not going to make pressure at first it is completely unnecessary instead of making pressure we are going to sit here for a moment and we are going to enjoy ourselves i want to see maybe someone will have some stupid ideas to make pressure like this that's all i need to do um and in the same time i would love to blind fire the whole clip here I know it sounds weird, but this could work and we might get some free shots, right? So we blind fire at the clip, hip hip hooray, and at this point, as you can see, we have a humongous lemming train in this side. We are not going to panic too much, uh, we are feeling relatively fine and we are going to take this position here. Skill, um, can you please explain us why you are going to take this position here? Sure, because I have a feeling enemies do not really have forces in this side and they decide to play uh, from this side overall, right? That's reasonable and this is completely understandable. So. How we can do this? We are sitting here and we are pretty much defending the base, right? Uh, in fact, maybe I shouldn't sit here because Kran is coming and he will try to take this position himself. Eh, I could sit there. I missed a clip here. Oh well, nothing what we can change about this. We are still feeling alright. Meanwhile, there is a poor 50B. Oi, oi. Unlucky. 50B had a great time, he decided to cross through the middle and obviously he got punished for that. Um, nothing what this gentleman could have done differently, he decided to be aggressive and 50B is definitely not the tank uh, for aggression if that makes sense, right? Anyways, uh, we still have all time in the world of tanks, we have 3 seconds and the 50B should be officially dead now, beautiful. Um, and at this point... I think we need to figure out how to uh, spot gentlemen who are playing here. I will try to make pressure together with a Kran and I believe Kran will try to um, help us quite a bit and he should help us overall, right? Now speaking about the help, there is a Leo in the open field. Luckily we hit him a couple of times and now we are going on the reload and once again I am feeling relatively fine with all of this, right? We are feeling fine. Meanwhile, uh, let's count the hit points. Udes is kind of down to one shotable, I would say. Actually, both of the Udes down to two shotable. Okay. So all we need to do, if we are planning this correctly, and if you are, uh, if we are going to execute this properly, uh, this gentleman is dead. Very nice. He is definitely dead. Now this gentleman over there, he is dead as well. Very nice. How about this one forty? We have to win the magazine, but we should be able to. Oh, we should be able to kill him. Beautiful, he is dead, we are picking the kill, and now the other Kran is trying to be the living crap out of us. Doesn't really matter, to be fair with you, all we need to do at this point, at this point we need to turn around, and we need to figure out how to approach enemy forces from a bit different angle, right? Uh, so far we have three kills, but majority of the damage which we made is from the big distance. So you know what that means? That means it means shit. Um, in other words, we are not sitting that great of the experience which we are going to get of this game. That's the main meaning. Okay, let's see. Can we take this main bush here and maybe we can see enemy crown wagon trying to go pir 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 like this? Maybe. You never know, fellas. You never know. Okay, our 430U is making a bit of pressure like so. I know what I could do and I know what I will do. 
I will try to take this hold down position and hopefully from this hold down position we can outspot the crown wagon sitting here. Um, that's all I want to do for now. Uh, as you can see, crown wagon is definitely in the open field and he is tracked and he is officially effed. Okay, that's nice. He wants to kill me and he did. Shame. I wish my crown wagon would work in this way. But that's okay. No complaints, no regrets, fellas. I'm feeling happy with this. Uh, let's teleport to the scoreboard. And we are back, fellas. We are on the third place. This is completely fine. This is as much as we deserve, right? So, moving on next TVP and let's go to the next game. And the map which we have this time is Seren Coast. Okay, we are spawned south. I know exactly how we are going to do the things, right? And we are not going to go to the heavy line over there. There is no point for us to do so. Instead of doing that, we are going to... Oh, we are going to go a bit more in front like this. Uh, by doing this, we can get some free assisting damage and in the same time... Uh, we can get a bit of the spotting as well. I'm actually not going to spo stop here. I am going to go even more aggressively. And I am feeling relatively fine. Meanwhile, one of our Leopards died, which sucks. Uh, but nothing what we can change about this. Now, at this point, I am trying to figure out where exactly enemy team um, are hiding at, right? And in the same time, whenever we will figure out where they are hiding yet, we can support our guys um, who, are, who are getting overwhelmed by the crown wagons. This is the way to play this map and you do not really necessarily need to fight super aggressively here. Keep this in mind. This is very important thing to say. Unfortunately, we are getting only one clip out of four, or I suppose to say out one shell out of uh, out of four. But this is completely fine. This is only the start for us, and we are building even better angle at this point. Speaking of the angles, now we are targeting low uh, um, low HP tanks. <coughs> one, good. Um, also, I believe some of you are. Surprised why I am not playing with a crown wagon. I cannot stand this tank in the ranked battles. I just don't feel like sniping cupolas of the other crown wagons are fun in any shape or any form, and I would rather uh, not to play um, with their tank, right? I know once again it sounds quite weird and, and maybe stupid in the same time, but that's the decision which I am making and I would rather play with a TVP. And even TVP is not the best sniper schnitzel ever, that last shot was misaimed by me, but we hit uh, um, STB, go figure, what can I say. Uh, and we are feeling alright here, fellas. We are feeling pretty alright. In the worst case scenario, we still have some support. Uh, Grilla, right? Uh, so I am feeling good with this and in the same time we can always clip enemy forces. Now speaking of the clipping enemy forces, as you can see the LT100 is sitting in the other side. Um, in fact, he is sitting over there so soon we are going to get overrun it by enemies. At this point I need to run. At this point, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I need to run. Uh, okay, Ruski light tank in the middle of the field. I'm trying to clip him out. Unfortunately, I'm failing. And at this point, we are going for a, for a hunt. I see that Leo in the ass. I know he is going to hit me. I'm very, very well aware of that. This is not my first day playing World of Tanks. But in the same time, nothing else what I could do now. I am sitting in the deep shithole. And this is what we need to do. And this is how we need to play this game. Night. Unfortunately, this is not bringing us victory and we have only 1850 damage. So this uh, this might mean we are losing Chevron, to be fair with you. I really doubt we are top three because the damage which we did uh, was from the long range. Shame. Anyways, let's see the scoreboard. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are retaining our Chevron. So we are not losing anything. That's quite impressive. Okay, let's move to the round number 7223. And we are back. So this time we have Murovanka. Okay, let's see what we can do in Murovanka, fellas. 
So the first things first, we need to pay attention what our light tank is doing and our light tank is going through the middle of the field, probably to counter enemy light tank and to spot whatever else, right? And he spotted enemy BR, that's actually pretty good and I like this, I do not want to get spotted yet. Um, and at this point we are just trying to find the good angle, another shot to the EBR, beautiful, and enemy the EBR now sh he should shit his pants honestly, he's half HP down, um, he's not feeling that great and he's thinking, who asked you to, right? We still have 3 in the magazine, so I am not planning to reload yet, and at this point I think we are going to try to clip this IS-7. I have a good suspicion, fellas, we should be able to do that without bigger problems whatsoever. Uh, plus on top of that, speaking about the angle which we have, it is not horrible angle to punish the IS-7 itself. Actually speaking of the angle, I think uh, it is so much more beneficial to try to shoot this TVP sitting here. Okay, we missed the shots on the TVP, shame, and let's try to hit this IS-7. Every single shot missed. Oh well, nothing what we can change about this, at this point we can only sit still until we are going to reload. Uh, our Kran lost all his hit points because um, obviously IS-7 had quite a bit of support. That's okay, it doesn't really change too much for us. And at this point, um, I would say we need to try to eliminate enemy Kran wagon, I guess. Can he eliminate uh, enemy Kran wagon? That's a hard one, fellas. That's honestly a hard one. Our EBR killed him, but EBR sacrificed his life just for one Kran wagon one shot, right? Um, okay, this is this is very, very complicated situation, my friends. Uh, we need to somehow get involved into this battle, and this is very hard thing to do. Speaking of the hard things to do, that's one, that's two, that's three, and that's four. Unfortunately, the fourth uh, wasn't penetration, but that's okay. We are losing by the two guns already, and that's a big pain in the butt, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And at this point, I think we need to um, get some distance between us and enemies. Um, Enemies simply have three big boys here, even though we have a Kran wagon relatively in front, I still do not trust the situation, even though we are winning on the hit points a bit. Um, I kind of want to build a bit of the ay 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 enemy BR outspotted our Liam. Ooh, yu, 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 yu. Hmm. How we can do this? How we can do this, fellas? Not a big surprise, honestly. EBR is sitting somewhere here. I can promise you that, fellas. Enemy EBR is sitting there. I'm, I need to aim quite a bit. And you see, this is a bit of the problem whenever um, you are not having a very uh, uh, strong light tank. Or if enemies still have light tank and you do not have a light tank. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to say, right? Uh, but it is how it is, we need to live with this fellas and we will try to get as much use as we physically and possibly can. I'm aware of that, I am spotted here because of that EBR and he's sitting here on the corner, but once again, nothing what we can change about this. Speaking of the EBR, let's try to kill him. Unfortunately we are failing, um, that's my aim, nothing else. Speaking of the failing, speaking of the failing, okay, nice. We eliminated enemy Leo, that's good stuff, and now we need to simply uh, try to get another clip out, right? If we are getting another clip out, we could be relatively alright. Now enemy TVP is in the open field, how about this TVP, how about this, how are you enjoying yourself? That's one, that's two, that's three, and that's dead. Beautiful, very very nice, now we are obviously loading the standard clip here, doesn't really matter, enemy BR did a great job, and Leo has an excellent angle on us. Yeah, I'm shame. Okay, so, once again, I can't cry that much about this game, I think we played uh, to the best of our abilities, um, and this is, this is what we have. Can we still uh, beat 
stop speaking about the experience to be fair with you we can uh, let's uh, let's see what the score is going to give for us and also boys and girls ladies and gentlemen just in case you forgot index page there is always is always for you if you want to get more information about the tank all you need to do you need to um, click on the tank in the index page you can see equipment you can see videos you can see crew setup you can see mark of excellence expectation values you can see field modifications and many many other stuff so uh once again feel free to check out the index page fellas meanwhile we are second that's pity but it is it is okay we got what we deserved in the enemy and our leo did way much more than we did right uh so that's fair i guess Okay, let's go for around number 7,000. And we are back with a beautiful Prokurovka. Okay, what is the plan? Our plan is relatively simple. All we need to do, we need to make a hardcore pressure on top of the hill, I would say. Uh, well, hardcore pressure. I, all I want to do, I want to take this upper side and then we are going to be able to uh, spank enemies in the side. Now, looking into the, all of this, there is Kran, Super Conquerors, Vazas, Krans, Rhinos, whatever, you name it. So, what that should mean, that should mean they are going to play in the middle. And since we have speed, since we have a great burst fire and everything, uh, we need to prepare for that and we need to be the living crap out of the enemies, right? Um, what is the worst thing what could happen? We might get overrunned by the enemies, but the question is, well, for them, the question is what kind of price they are going to pay for this, right? Because this is going to be costly for them. Now, let's see what we can do. We are going on top just like so and we should be able to see the flat sides of the enemies, right? So as you can see, flat sides of the enemies, fellas. Meanwhile, EBR is over there. Okay, that's understandable. Not a big deal, not a big surprise. Our EBR is farming enemies in the side already. There is still a couple of guns which are not spotted, but to be fair with you, I do not really care about them. And at this point, we are farming this waza. This is exactly what I want to see, and this is exactly what I want to do. At this point, I am feeling a bit threatened by the enemy forces who are never ever was spotted, and in the same time, we do not really have this 277 that close, as I would love to. And in the same time, our team is running from the middle, so we have z literally zero support. So instead of um instead of sitting here i am leaving this 277 and we are going to take the middle ourselves um somewhere here and i believe we can get some clips in this way since enemies lost one two line i believe it is relatively fair to say uh enemies are going to lose this game already right it's matter of the time how much it's matter of the time and the main question is how much we can do now our Ferrari is going to be top player in this game and I really doubt we can squeeze to get into the top uh, um, into the top um, two by any shape or any form. I do not really think it is valuable option, okay? I'm trying to take the kill, but unfortunately I'm failing to do so, although we have other kill. That's fine. Okay, so once again, couple of enemy tanks never ever has been spotted or never been spotted, I suppose to say. So what do we have? We have enemy EBR, we have enemy STB. Now, speaking about the, of the enemy STB, I believe we should be able to start spanking him up the butt. Udes is sitting here, not a big deal. I do not really mind this gentleman whatsoever. And we are going to spank this crown wagon up the ass. One, two, three, Four. That's beautiful clip. And at this point, obviously, we are planning our actions and we are going for the Mr. Udes for obvious reasons, right? I do not really think this STB is going to survive that long. And all we need, we need like five more seconds and we are ready to start spanking this gentleman. I do not really care him hitting us. I truly do not care about that. And now we are bursting him like there is no tomorrow. Very nice. 3.6 thousand damage, 1.6 thousand assisting damage. This game was played well by us. 
I think we reacted into the situation properly and if I would still sit in the same position I think I would be dead so I needed to escape so I am happy about this although obviously the true king of this battle is EBR EBR did um, absolutely amazing stuff and he played um, incredibly you know he had balls and he went in front like there is no tomorrow and EBR with balls um, is pretty impressive wow we are top one I did not saw that one coming I thought EBR is going to be number one but okay okay um i take it beautiful so we are first by experience hip hip hooray very good game let's go for round number whatever i can't even remember let's go and we are back himmelsdorf okay let's see what we can do here so what we supposed to do here i would say we are starting everything from the sneaky 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 play I'm taking my uh, one of my favorite positions here and we are waiting until we will have a chance to clip someone. Maybe someone will try to make pressure uh, in banana or maybe someone will um, will do something else. You never know. Okay, okay, okay. Manticore, okay. Not bad. Nothing what I can change for this Manticore. Uh, he spanked me in the, in the face pretty well. And once again, nothing what I can do. Um, this guy is annoying, but you know what is the best part of all this? I do not really mind him that much as you might believe. I do not mind this guy as much as you want to believe. Okay, so Manticore, I do not really think this guy cares about us at this point. I do not really think he wants to do anything with us. And at this point we have a very nice angle for this to be. Couple of free shots are always welcome. Keep this in mind, fellas. I will take a couple of the free shots. And at this point I need to figure out how to survive this. So I think there is only one way how we can do this. And that way is to run away. And that run is to run... And that way is to run away. Aha. Uh -huh. Estereva is sitting here as well. They have plenty of the people sitting here. But... I mean plenty. Hmm. How to make it work? How to make it work? I don't like what I'm seeing here because there is very, very, very hard uh, situation for us to make any pressure whatsoever for the enemy forces, if you know what I mean. Enemies have a hill pushing through this. It is kind of literally suicide, so it's just simply not worth it. I mean... Oh yes, TVP. Hmm... TVP is sitting here as well. Actually, I do not really think TVP is going to be that aggressive to make a bit of pressure like this. So maybe it's not that bad. Maybe we could spank Manticore in front of us, right? Let's see. Is this mother trucker still sitting here? No, he is not. No, he is not. Was a 55, 277, many of them sitting here. Many, many, many of them sitting here. I am just waiting, fellas, till the moment until we can make a bit of pressure. Honestly, this moment is looking more and more and more far away, if that makes sense. But it's okay. Manticore should be dead now. If he is going here, Manticore is dead. Manticore is not dead. Okay. Let's try to escape from here. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Okay, fair enough. Um, that wasn't a great game. I don't. I did not knew how to make pressure here, uh, fellas. Here, I truly didn't. I think I needed to simply sit more uh, in Charlie too and just wait um, for opportunities. That's bad play by me. Okay, I'm accepting this better luck like next time. Let's teleport to the scoreboard. And we are back, fellas. Uh, you know what? You won't believe. Our team managed to win this game. I really doubt I'm going to be top 7 here, but uh, 
uh, once again, no complaints, no regrets. I am a top seven, such an undeserved Chevron, but okay, that's what we have. No complaints, no regrets. Beautiful. Um, whoever, whoever carried my butt, thank you very much. Vaza, you beautiful, beautiful gentleman. Beautiful. Look at this gentleman. Okay, very nice. Anyways, let's go for the next round. And we are back, fellas. El Haluf. So what to do now? What to do in El Haluf, fellas? This is the question. I do not really think our team is going to play super aggressively. I really doubt our team will, or obviously not all of our team um, will do this. So I, what I am thinking instead, I am not planning to make any pressure whatsoever, at least not yet. I am planning to play safe and to be prepared to spank the living crap out of the enemies if they are going to do something silly. There is two light tanks, so obviously vision um, towards the our team is quite big for obvious reasons, but that's okay. So let's see. First things first. We are in position and this is where I want to play. And now we are going to wait until this Manticore will try to go like this or something. I know for a fact I have no chance to outspot Manticore myself, okay? Uh, let's get real. There is no chance we can outspot him, so that's fair. Plus on top of that they have uh, probably Leopard who is sniping from here, at least that's how the things are looking like. And now we have a beautiful angle, very nice. Okay. Although only 2 out of 4, but considering that was a long range shot for us, we can't complain that much. This is this is a long range sniping, right? Okay, let's see. We are sitting in the bush and we are just waiting. We are just waiting until enemies will mess up. The main reason being why am I not playing in the heavy line is actually, you know what, maybe at this point we could play in the heavy line. Actually, maybe we could play in the heavy line. Look at this, reinforcements are arriving here. Um, enemies have five, six guns, right? Um, and that's fear, but in the same time, oh, I have an idea. Before going, let's clip this position here. There is, usually there is one gentleman who is sitting in this bush. I am using this bush myself from time to time, so this is uh, kind of understandable. Meanwhile, let's see what kind of situation do we have over there, fellas. Let's see what kind of situation do we have. Oi, oi, situation is looking pretty damn bad. Okay, one, I said one, I said two, I said three. Okay, beautiful. 3 out of 4, this is so much better than it was before. Um, and at this point I think we need to get some safe defense parameter once again, shame. Okay, let's try to do that then. Um, I did not felt like I could play uh, like equal versus equal against the Kranwagens here, uh, honestly. I simply did not felt like I could do anything for the enemy, so I decided not to play too aggressively. And you know what? I am feeling relatively fine with my decisions. Meanwhile, um, now the question is, can we find a decent angle for this TVP? Can we find a decent angle for this TVP? If this TVP will try to be aggressive, I believe we can outspot him and I believe we can actually clip him out, right? But once again, all we need to wait, we need to wait until he will be aggressive. Mm -hmm, that's completely understandable. Relax, take it easy, we got this. At this point, we are waiting until... Actually, we are not waiting anything. We are just going in. At this point, fellas, we need to go in. I know it sounds weird as F, but that's what we need to do. So let's see, bam, beautiful clip, that's nice. Now Ferrari, Ferrari is dead, I said Ferrari is, oh you lucky mother trucker. Okay, at least we clipped, um, at least we rammed the Manticore, right? Okay, uh, once again, I know this is, uh, this is very, very, very complicated situation. I'm very, very well aware of that. But once again, this is as much as we are going to get. Um, let's see what is the scoreboard. 
Okay, we are coming back with a defeat tonight. Now the question is, are we top one or are we top two? This is the question, right? Um, because I, I for sure think we are in the top three, right? So let's see. Uh, we are top two. Okay, that's fair by the five experience and our 430 use top one. He got two kills. Nice. Good for him. Okay, let's go for other game. And we are back. We are in Kempinovka. Oi, oi, cranked. Oi, oi, fellas. Cranked. Cranked. Now we need to find the way how we can play this game. In fact, should I load the heat at first if I'm going on top of the hill? Okay, let's load the heat first. Um... I will be the first person who will meet whatever enemy, maybe Leopard, maybe whatever else, doesn't really matter. I need to be on top of the hill first, right? That's what I need to do. Speaking of the things which I need to do, there is Leo in the middle of the field. And you know what that means? That means it is uh, relatively free, free damage. Okay, unless I am stupid, and I am stupid. Okay, that's okay, that's okay, fellas, that's okay. I am accepting this, this is as much as I deserve it, so... Let's see. Can we continue clipping him? That's one, that's two, and that's three. Yeah, only two out of four. Not ideal situation for us. We know about the two sniper schnitzels here. We are very, very well aware of that. But in the same time, oh yo, oh yo, 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 I don't like this anymore. Okay, we are running from from the hill. There is no point for us to stay here. If I will play on top of the hill, I am going to get slaughtered, and this is going to be a game over. Um. I thought I actually can be the living crap out of this Leo, but that was uh, uh, definitely a um, bad call by me. Can I cry about this? No, fellas, I cannot. The main battle is going to be on top of the hill, I assume, so hip hip hooray. But, but, what we could expect from the enemy forces? Hmm. I think I am going to sit here. And I am going to wait until Estervai will get spotted. Because if I am not mistaken, Estervai is definitely sitting pretty... Okay, I have an idea. Now this can be very risky and this can be stupid, but I'm up to take the risk. I want to cross like this, I want to take this bush now. Because if I am not going to do this, I'm not going to get any assisting damage. If I'm not going to get any assisting damage, this is going to be uh, game over for us. We want to score at least top 7, right? That's what we want to do. Now, speaking about the top 7, um, do I want to take this position here? This is the question. Actually, I wish to say I have a choice. I do not. One, two, three, four. I hope he won't hit me, but he did. Okay, that was a bad call by me. I messed up this completely. A bit top seven, maybe. Uh, but this could be so much better. I made a mistake by uh, peeking against the um, Leo. All I needed to do, I needed to go up here and then peek. Then I would not lose any hit points whatsoever. But you know what? Victory is victory even in there. So I'm happy with that. Let's see what is the score. And we are back, fellas. Unfortunately, I am not even top 7. That's okay. I got what I deserved, fellas, and I can't cry about my performance. That was simply no bueno, and that was stupid. Let's go for the other game, shall we? And we are back. So the next game, we have Cliff. Um, I have a strategy. I have a plan. I think I am going to make pressure like this instantly. So this is what we are going to do, fellas. This is what we are going to do. The main position which I want to take is this upper side, because from upper side we are going to cause a big fat um, crossfire for the enemies, and this is exactly what we want to see. So at this point we are going like this, and enemy TVP is sitting over there as well. Um, that's okay, we are getting some assisting damage, and TVP is uh, pretty much shitting his pants at this point. Now speaking about the shit in his pants, I have a feeling we can go together and we can focus TVP, okay? 
We can focus TVP, let's go. Oi, oi. Okay, couple of shots just like so. Good. That was that was a good one. I am very happy with this. And at this point we are chilling. We are chilling until we are going to reload. Unfortunately, our Fosh is probably dead meat. And we cannot do absolutely anything about this. Unfortunately, we cannot do absolutely anything about this. Ay, 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 ay. Quite, quite bad decision, I would say. Um, we could actually take them down, fellas. I am, I am feeling uh, pretty great with this, honestly. Um, I know the safer option would be to play in the upper side here, but I decided to go like this um, because I thought I am actually going to be able to reload here. Unfortunately, the things did not went that well. So yeah. Oh well. Uh, nothing. What we can change about this? I'm accepting this. Let's go to the scoreboard. And we are back. Unfortunately with a defeat and since I was sucking a massive PP in this match, this is what we have. Okay, better luck next time and let's go for other game. It is taking some time, fellas, but this is ranked battles. What did you expect? I told you this is going to be a long session. Let's go. Ensk. Whew, beautiful map. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we can do here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. So first things first, obviously we are going to the window and we will try to clip someone out if we will have a chance. Um, if yes, then yes. If no, then hashtag never lucky. 3, 2, 1. We should be able to spank him at least once, I guess. That's what I am hoping for. I want to keep him spotted to be fair with you. Eh. I tried to punish this gentleman for his mistakes, but once again, I messed up unfortunately. Meanwhile, Leo is sitting here. Maybe we could spank him as well. Unfortunately, we cannot. Progetto is crossing. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. Such a bad timing, such a bad timing. Well, you know, someone is uh, blaming timing, someone is blaming uh, bad aim. In this kind of situation, bad aim it is, fellas. Bad aim it is. Okay, let's see. How we can get involved in this game? This is the question. We need to find the opportunities for ourselves to start clipping enemies out, for obvious reasons. And I think Ranwagen is going to be the very first victim for us. So how we are going to do this, we are going to go in and we are going to start uh, uh, making him very, very, very happy, right? So, once again, uh, this gentleman is officially effed, beautiful, very, very nice, and at this point I think I should try to escape like this, I guess. Trying to run away, beautiful, luckily we are not lit on fire, that's very, very nice. And at this point I want to see, fellas, how we can flank enemies and how we can um, do some damage here. This is the question. How we could flank them and how we could do some damage. Huh? Meanwhile, there is Leo. Leo is trying to find <coughs> a nice angle and um, he thinks he found the Faka guy, but, un but unlucky for this gentleman, our guy woke up and he is taking one for the team. Come on, one more. Ay, 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 ay. Such a poor accuracy in this situation. Okay, let's see. What we can do now? This is the question, fellas. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do? Okay, we have Bobject who is thinking about bobbing in front. And if Bobject will bob in front, we will make sure he is going to uh, enjoy himself, right? This is what I want to see. Kranwagen, Bobject, Bobject, Kranwagen. Our Bobject is pushing in front. Enemy Bobject just fired. Mm. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Very nice. Uh, what is not nice, I'm getting clipped by the Kran. Ay, 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 ay. This is not nice, and this is not what I'm looking for, but let it be. I have a feeling defeat is coming for us, fellas. I have a feeling defeat is coming for us. 
Can we get at least one more? No, we cannot. I cannot change anything here, fellas. The maps which we are getting is not that great. I would love to say we can change this. I would love to say we can do something more, but we cannot. That's okay. I'm accepting this step by step, little by little, fellas. We are going to make it work. I still want to believe we are top three in this game. And as you can see, ranked battles is not... Uh, um, once again, I really want to highlight this. This season of the ranked battles, I have the worst performance. Um, I hate Kranwagen. I cannot stand uh, to play with that vehicle, so I'm playing with a TVP. Uh, and I don't really think I am playing that bad most of the time, but from time to time it happens when the things are not looking uh, that well. Um, so let's see what, um, what is score in this game. And once again, you need to win the games to progress way quicker. And since I had horrible qualification um, unfortunately this is affecting everything quite a bit so we are and well, luckily for us we are not losing the chevron so that's something right and let's see our performance so far how the things are looking like yeah 121 performance in the division in the last division and general performance 125 and this is the lowest ever i really want to highlight this uh, qualification performance and in fact if you want to see this check out extra channel you will see the qualification results there and how the things went and what kind of win ratio we had like 20 something if i'm not mistaken uh that was amazing anyways next game let's go and we are back what do we have we have a red shire okay this is interesting in the red shire i think we are going to play a bit differently i think we are going to go on the field instantly because i have a feeling we can actually afford this i know that sounds weird but that's what i think um i believe enemies are not going to have many forces who will cross like this at least that's what i want to believe and um we are pretty much ready to clip enemies out, whoever is going to make one or another uh, mistake. So, let's see. Our EBR will work like ice. And so far, this gentleman did not spot literally anyone. So, you know what that means? That means they do not have anyone here. So, how we are going to do the things <coughs> and how we are going to approach the enemies uh we are going to take this position and we will try to clip uh leopard or stb whatever one out of those two um i think we can be relatively aggressive here and hopefully we can make it work so let's see fellas both of the trees knock it down so now those trees are behaving like camo and at this point i am just chilling and i am just enjoying myself we punished leo twice and at this point i could go on the reload or i could wait until someone else will make another mistake and i will punish him twice and honestly i think i am waiting until someone else will make mistake for example um this ebr right or alternatively this stb Okay, relax, take it easy, we have all time in the world of tanks, um, and let's wait a bit. If enemies are peeking, we are spanking them. If enemies are peeking, we are spanking them, fellas. I can promise you that. Okay. Meanwhile, this Leo is trying to go for a blind shots. Uh, that's not bad thing whatsoever, fellas, believe me. This is not a bad play by this Mr. Leo. And in fact, he could catch us for a blind, uh, with a blind shot as well. Let's see. I'm still chilling in a way. And at this point, I want to clip STB trying to escape. Beautiful clip. Very nice. Okay. Okay, fellas. Step by step, little by little. What is going to be the next victim for us? I would say this Udes might be the next victim, right? Although before that, I am still waiting. Uh, maybe I can spank the Leo. Leo is getting spotted. Leo is shitting his pants for obvious reasons. Was I sitting somewhere here as well? Okay, listen. Maybe we have an actually decent angle here. Leo is trying to escape. He is doomed. Is it a second fire already or is it my imagination? I think that was a second fire already, right? Yep, that is a second fire. Nice. What can I say? It is. It feels good to be lucky. It feels good to be lucky. So, in my humble opinion, in this map we have a winning spawn, so we need to appreciate this. And now let's have some fun while clipping this Udes, right? 
food as is having pretty great time, he is enjoying himself to the maximum and we are going to say hello for him I guess. Good, 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 let's try to go like this, obviously I'm dead but I do not really mind too much, honestly. I want to believe we are top 2 uh, position already with our performance and I think uh, um, it is completely fine, honestly. Once again, in the end of the day I was greedy little mother trucker and I deserved what I got, but once again, no complaints, no regrets, we need to accept this and this is a great game, let's see the score. And we are back fellas, um, as expected we are top 2 so we are getting double here, very very nice, only 3 chevrons to go step by step little by little fellas, step by step little by little, let's keep it up. Prokurovka, Prokurovka, such a beautiful map. Okay, listen, what we are going to do, we are going to the hotel one position instantly and we will try to uh, cause crossfire for all crown wagons who are going to uh, play in the middle. What could uh, happen and what would be the worst thing to happen? Obviously, if enemy budget would go full YOLO um, in the first minute of the game, which could happen, but I really doubt it is going to be the case. And now we are preparing for sniping every single crown who is over Speaking like this because usually this is the start for enemy team, right? They are just simply over peaking without thinking too much. So for example, as you can see this crown is over peaking, that's completely fine and this is exactly what we want to see. Another super conqueror is over peaking, that's great, beautiful. This is exactly what we want to see and this is what we are looking for. So this is in a way uh, like early start for us and good start for us. Meanwhile, our STB is getting slaughtered. So what that basically means, that basically means enemies might have um, budget somewhere over there, right? At least I would not act surprised if that would be the case. So how we are going to proceed with this? I believe we are going to be safe and we will stay here. Why we are staying here? Because we are going to see if the budget will try to make pressure like this. And I am truly paranoid uh, because of this. I know how the things can happen and I know um, enemies can simply say... And if they are saying this, we are going to be in the massive trouble. So for now we are chilling. Also, in fact, fellas, maybe we could go with a blind clip. This is the question. Maybe we could go with a blind clip. What do you think? Who is not spotted? Budget, Progetto, Leo. Leo is probably sitting somewhere here, I guess. Mm, I do not really like we are losing this game by quite a bit of the hit points already as well. I mean, we need to hope our Leo is going to spot the um, gentleman who will make a bit of pressure, okay? That's what I am hoping for. Mm, 277 is saying he is sitting here. Not much what I can change about this. What I could do though, I could try to blind fire somewhere. Mm. No blind fire for us. Okay, wait. We still have all time in the world of tanks, obviously we do not really have armor here and our Leo is getting outspotted, so once again, keep this in mind, uh, spotter is sitting somewhere here, I can promise you that, our 277 is very very aggressive, this is very bad thing for us, and what we could do, we could go for a blind clip I would say, um, I am trying to find a nice angle and we are going for it. This is definitely not a diary hit, we are trying to aim a bit to the right side, trying to hit, definitely not a blind hit, trying to look a bit to the left side, um, I'm not entirely sure so I went for double but probably um, I haven't hit anyone, but that's okay. All good. Okay, Leo is thinking about getting involved against our 277, that's completely understandable, I would love to help this gentleman, I truly would. Hmm. He's on his own. He is on his own. I'm not happy fellas how I started playing, I am not thinking what I am doing and this is a big fat trouble. 
And this is a big fat trouble, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. At this point, we need to keep the distance. Distance is pro probably the most important thing to, um, to do at this point. Once again, we know we are Leo's, uh, but in the same time, we know he is not alone. We know the Kran is covering him, Super Conqueror is covering him, Knight, and so on, so on. Um, actually, when I am thinking better about this, maybe we can go in. Okay, listen, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I will try to risk it for the biscuit here. And if, okay, things won't go that well as I expected, not a big surprise. Leo, uh, they have a spotter here, maybe even in the main spotting bush. I would not act surprised if the spotter is in the main spotting bush, to be fair with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not good, not good, not good, fellas. Okay, listen, uh, once again, I would love to say we could be too aggra a bit more aggressive over here, but we can't. Uh, I was relying on enemies being aggressive in the 1-2 line, but unfortunately uh, that was a bad read from my side and I des very, very well deserved what I got. Um, I played this game like a big pile of kaku. Um, unfortunately, my performance was laughable and uh, the score is just proving my point, what I mean. Okay, we have 20 seconds until we are going to finish our reload. I do not really think we are going to get any use whatsoever over there, but let's see. I am just chilling and I am waiting. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, okay, good, good, good. No. And we are dead. Ah, bad play by me. Bad play by me, fellas. Eek. Um, yeah, I started misplaying, fellas, unfortunately. I am not going to be top three. I played way too safe here. I had a great opening um, to uh, hit people who were playing in the middle, but after that, um, I simply played like a shit. Yeah, looks like frustration is getting me. Um, I think it is about the time to switch the tank and we are going to go into the game with a crown wagon. We'll see how the things will look like. I truly dislike crown wagon myself, right? I truly do not like this tank but that's what we have um i very very well deserve to lose this um and once again good job by the budget he spotted a lot and he got a lot of uh use himself okay one more game with tvp if we are going to suck we are changing the tank let's do this and we are back okay what do we have we have once again not the greatest map for ourselves um i think we are going to try to play this game a bit differently um, by saying we are going to try to play this game a bit differently, I mean we are going to um, try to cause the crossfire for the enemy forces. Um, I'm very, very well aware of um, where enemy team is playing overall, right? The main play for the enemy team is going to be uh, to play here, right? But as you can see, they are prepared for a crossfire. This is no bueno. Okay, listen, this is very, very bad for our team. If I am sitting here, they are going to overrush me and I am going to die. If I will go here, I am not going to get that much use um, whatsoever. This is a very big fat problem for us, if you know what I mean. And we have a Z55 already sitting here. We are kind of doomed. Okay, let it be. Uh, nothing what I can change about this and we need to try to play as good as we physically and possibly can, right? So, first things first, I want to see this was a 55 sitting he somewhere here, right? He's trying to make as much pressure as he can and luckily for us some guys um, sat in the back so at least that's something. Meanwhile, there is EBR in the side. I am very very well aware of this EBR, don't you worry and yeah, I'm in the crossfire. That's a big fat problem. Okay, maybe, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, maybe um, our team will come back for a base defense in time. And if it is going to be the case, hopefully we are going to uh, get enough use here. If not, then oh well, what can you do? I am 
I am very, very well aware of um, the gentlemen who are sitting here, okay? I am very, very well aware of that. I know this EBR is having a nice angle on me. And I know if I am going to peak, I will be in very horrible space and in very horrible situation. Luckily for us, our team is kind of winning this game and unfortunately we do not have that many forces who are coming towards us. Shame. Okay. Let's see. I will try to hunt the CBR down if I will have a chance, but once again, it is very, very debatable, right? Yeah, the CBR is sitting somewhere here, I guess, and he is already on his way to escape. And I am going to say, no, how do you like your DPM? Beautiful. Okay, good for us. We caught that guy and we got slaughtered by the Progetto, probably. Ooh, we are still alive. That's actually impressive. Okay, let's see. What to do now? This is the question, fellas. We know about Progetto sitting here. Uh, so once again, um, I am not going to make too much pressure since I am down to one shotable. I cannot afford this. What I can do and what I can expect, I can expect this Progetto trying to hunt me. Why so? Because I'm down to one shotable and that would make sense for him to be relatively aggressive and to simply go for me to claim the kill, right? This is what I am hoping for. There is no other alternative option. And as you can see, this gentleman is moving through the open field. That's fear. That's fear, fellas. Good. Very nice. Okay, listen, I got another three shots, so we should be um, probably top seven. But once again, this is a struggle. Uh, this is the hardest ranked season which I had, and I don't know why. Maybe of the attitude, maybe of the bad start which I had. Once again, if you want to see this, you can see that in the extra channel. Uh, the full clips are up they uh, uploaded, me promoting the chair, if you know what I mean. So yeah, anyways, um, let's teleport to the scoreboard and we are back fellas i'm pretty sure we should be top seven unless uh, unless we are not uh, so let's see the score yep we are top seven actually very very close for being top eight but that's completely fine once again i'm feeling happy with what we have done and it is fine we are missing three chevrons you know what let's spice the things up and let's go into the battle with the 55 i love this tank with all my heart so why the heck not let's go lakeville it is okay let's play lakeville then uh what we are going to do we are going to go into the city quickly there is EBR. So what we are going to do with all of this? I really do not want to get spotted, but probably I will. And I think we want to be relatively aggressive here. Mm -hmm. And by saying relatively aggressive, I would love to take this position over there. From this position, we should be able to... Um, punish enemies entering in to the small city if obviously enemies will make a decision to be aggressive. Um, in reality, you never know. Um, it is ranked battles. It is quite hard to predict what people will do. Maybe they will play uh, super aggressively like this, which also could be very possible if you know what I mean. Anyways, let's knock the tree down and let's see. They have four guns over there already. That's fear, I guess. And what do we have? And we can and we will try to figure out how to play here. Okay, I am going to be aggressive together with a Super Kong. 4 versus 4 so far. Enemies are trying to be aggressive. Enemy TVP just simply... Uh, enemy TVP is on the reload. Uh, enemy Vaza is on the reload. 1, 2. Beautiful. 2 shots for free. Or kind of for free. And let's count the guns. We have 4 guns. Enemies have, enemies have 5 guns. Not really ideal situation if you would ask me, but that's what we have. Anyways, what we can expect, we can expect enemy TVP to try to be a bit more aggressive here. Yep, that's not good. That's not good, fellas. And that's not good. And this is very, very not good. And one. Can we get another one? And two. Okay, we missed that shot. We need to leave the Super Conqueror. I cannot defend the Super Conqueror, fellas. I simply can't. Maybe I could stay around here um, 
just in case you know to get one more clip before this gentleman will get slaughtered but everything is depending on what he is going to do himself if he is going to be aggressive this is this is very very bad meanwhile tvp is saying i will help i will help them beautiful and at this point we need to run there is no around there is nothing what we can change about this just run around uh, run for our life we have 2000 already that's relatively fine we did not lose that many hit points whatsoever and enemies will try to be aggressive at this point where do i want to play and where do i want to go exactly i would say no no bloody budget Hmm, not good. One to five. E nothing what we can change about this. Nothing what we can change about this, fellas. We are in the crossfire here, unfortunately. And enemy team is winning pretty much every single flank. So what we can do, fellas, we can try to get another magazine, another clip, right? That's all we can do about this. So let's see. Can we find the nice angle for enemy bot chat enemy bot chat is smart nothing what we can change about this and you know what is the worst thing of all this we are not even spotting him meanwhile maybe a nice angle for was i really doubt it mm. kranwagen trying to be the living crap out of us and we are dead okay that's fair um what we supposed to do in this game i don't know we lost both of the sides in the same time which is quite sad thing we did not secure at one two we did not win eight nine zero line um i don't know how we could play this game differently i honestly do not know anyways let's teleport to the scoreboard maybe we are going to be a top one player in this game um, that's what i'm looking for so let's see Ooh, ranked battles are ranked battles, fellas. And uh, once again, frustration is understandable for everyone, you know? You are not the one who are frustrated because I hear that, believe me, I hear that quite a bit. Uh, um, whenever I am live streaming, right, uh, people are saying, oh my bananas, I never ever had so much fun in, than playing ranked battles. Okay, great, we are getting Chevron, hip hip hooray, let's go for another battle with Waza 55, let's do this. Um, let's teleport into the game. And we are back, so what do we have? Murovanka. Okay, let's see, let's see what we can do in Morovanka. First things first, I really want to spank enemy light tanks, and I assume both of the light tanks will try to play somewhere here. At least this is, this is um, the case usually. So at this point, I'm not even going to play that aggressively until I will see someone here. They should have a light tank, okay? That's a light tank, very good. Unfortunately, I missed the shot, that's on me. Can he peek for another one? I do not really, yep, he is going for another one, that's good, and bam, beautiful. Okay, so at least we have one. I am pretty happy with this shot, I cannot complain whatsoever. And the main reason why I stopped in this bush, I really wanted to spank the EBR for obvious reasons, right? This is what I really wanted to do. So now, if EBR is trying to go uh, here, EBR is in the deep shithole, if that makes sense. If that makes sense, EBR is in the deep shithole. Mm. How to outspot him? And this is no bueno. Our EBR is burning. We are uh, we are getting effed as well. I think. Uh, wow, STB found a nice angle for us. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Um, EBR is sitting in the middle. We are kind of stuck. Both of our lights are dead. Uh, yeah, fellas, the situation is looking pretty bad. Oy oy, and we are going and we are getting effed by the uh, by the gentlemen who are sitting here already. That's a game over. Oy 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 oy. Okay. Um, skill, what you can do about this? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Um, once again, uh, I don't know what I supposed to say. Um, 
there is nothing to say about this, honestly. Um, enemy team played obviously better. Um, enemy team um, have two light tanks. Enemy team secured this, which is very hard to secure, by the way, for enemy team, right? Uh, and in the same time, enemy team did not lose this, even though we have more guns here. And enemy team is making pressure like this. You can't win this. Okay, next game. Um, we are going to teleport instantly into the next game, I guess. Oh, fellas. Oh. I deserve it where I am, I am in the bottom, I am completely well aware of that. Holy banana, CBR is when I am. Okay, I have an idea, let's go with the BR. Uh, why the heck not, maybe we are going to get a good map for, for a double. Uh, we need to get something like um, Murovank uh, or, or alternatively um, Prokurovka or something where we can spot. Even El Haluf can work in a way, right? Just please don't give me Ansk or Himmelsdorf. That's all I am asking for. Let's go into the game. Okay, we are back. Fisherman's Bay. Let's see. Let's see what we can do, fellas. Let's see what we can do. So, first things first, um, I would love to see... Actually, our team is uh, more based on this side. That's actually good. Um, I want to take this bush here. The main reason why am I talking about this bush is because from here we can actually get... Uh, um, ah, yeah, 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 and I missed my shots. So damn unfortunate. Uh, from here we can actually spot the um, enemies, right? Uh, we can spot the enemy EBR for obvious reasons and so on so on. We can do many bad things for them. Now, obviously, I need to pay a humongous attention what the CBR is going to do. I need to pay a humongous attention what the CBR is planning to do for us. Trying to penetrate him with high explosives and we are not failing, that's good. That's actually very, very good. Enemy budget is clipping our pattern, which is not so nice, but unfortunately we cannot change anything about this. Meanwhile, can we find a decent angle to spank enemy uh, Leopard? This is the question. Trying to aim for him and bam. Unfortunately, not good enough angle. At this point, I will shoot standard ammunition because it is going to be a bit more reliable. And once again, this position where we are playing at, it is absolutely amazing, fellas. If you never played here, I would highly recommend it to give it a go. It is very, very strong position and you can get plenty of use uh, uh, playing here. I am speaking about the assisting damage and about the damage dealt, right? You can do many, many bad stuff for enemies. Meanwhile, Leopard is taking one for the team. That's good. I need to find a nice angle to spank him once again. Enemies have more guns on this side. This is not very good. And enemies have the city in a way. Um, how are we supposed to get more use here? Hmm? Leopard is not crossing for us. That's a fact. Two heavy tanks are sitting there. Ay, 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 boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, let's see. Oy, oy! And that was winning shot. And this gentleman just made a winning shot single-handedly. I would say. Nice. Okay. Uh, he just armor act. He just armor act. EB, uh, super conqueror, pretty much from full HP. That's huge, fellas. And that's what I call huge. At this point, I am trying to find the ass of the super conqueror. I believe we could get this relatively easily, or could be. Leopard sitting here. Kind of down to one shotable. EBR is here. Hmm. Step by step. The thing is, I think I am making one mistake with EBR, and that mistake is I am trying to shoot uh, um, way too many high explosives. Because I know you can make it work, I know you can hit the things with high explosives, and I think this is kind of killing gains a bit, right? Um, once again, I'm very, very well aware of that and I am accepting this. Meanwhile, obviously we are not going to get a lot of use here. 
uh, we are going to get one chevron in the best case scenario but that one chevron is going to be like motivation after the last game when the things went in in shithole if that makes sense right fellas so where is this ebr um okay we know where ebr is all we need to do we need to catch him here and we should be able to do so relatively easily Whee! Okay, <clears throat> anyways, I am happy with this result, I am happy with this performance, let's see what do we have. We should have a chevron for sure. Okay, no game, what do you have to show for us? And what do you have to show for us? I don't really think I'm top 2, I did not deserve a top 2. Top 7, sure. Here we go, beautiful, 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 two chevrons left, let's go, one more with Ferrari, maybe we will get a good map, let's teleport into the map. And we are back fellas, so what do we have, we have quite a, quite a good map for ourselves, uh, Shit River is a great map fellas, so, um, let's see, my goal will be to spot this side instantly right and we'll see can we get um some assisting damage or not really this is the question right we are going to go super aggressively here fellas we are going to go super aggressively just like so couple of guys spotted like this that's good information can we get some more Okay, I want to keep them spotted for obvious reasons, and here we go. This is this is exactly what I want to see, fellas. This is exactly what I want to see. This is not going to be an enjoyable situation for those gentlemen. I can promise you that, fellas. This is not going to be an enjoyable situation. Okay. Mm, can we get more involved? I want to spot the Super Conqueror as well. Simple like so. Super Conqueror is spotted. This guy is down to one shotable. Progetto is going in the middle. Okay. Uh, Progetto is sec sitting there. I know exactly how am I going to do the things now. And we will obviously try to shit on the middle if it is possible. And I believe it is possible. I don't really like to go in, st in front like this in the first moment of the game. I do not really think it is it is worth it in a way, if that makes sense, right? Leopards are extremely annoying as a sniper schnitzels. Hey. Good. This is this is what we are doing. We need to we need to annoy them and we cannot allow them to snipe oh my bananas we cannot allow them to snipe from the back and here we go they are they are out nice very very good how about this gentleman is he dead oh yes he is beautiful obviously enemies cannot do too much in this kind of situation um, they just can't do anything in fact i'm going to load the high explosives and i am going to and I am going to spot the CBR. Everyone is spotted. How much uh, hit point CBR has? He's down to fartable, I assume. So, um, if I would be him, I would rather run away. Hmm. Okay, quite interesting. I have a feeling this guy is sitting um, somewhere in the middle at this point. I have a feeling he's sitting somewhere in the middle. Fellas, don't say anything. I know rally cards. I guess I get it. Believe me. Oh boy, I do get it. But this is the world of tanks nowadays. What can you do? What can you do? Okay, let's see. Do they have anyone sitting here? Budget sniping from the back. Kaboom. Mm -hmm. Skill, you fix it the wrong thing. Nah, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I would rather have my wheels, and by having my wheels, I can still keep driving like headless pigeon, right? And uh, ammo rack is not the most important thing of this tank, believe me. 
Amorak is not the most important thing of the ABR. Yeah, we should we should be able to win this, I guess. I didn't really wanted to stop here, but that was that was obviously my brain fart. Better luck next time. Better luck next time. I have a very bad habit to shoot high explosives with this tank. And I truly mean it, fellas. Habit of shooting high explosives is disgusting. Ah! Should play by me, but well deserved what I got. Ay, 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 I was playing like headless pigeon. I shouldn't make pressure like this. I needed to figure out the different way. I knew about the crown sitting here. Okay, fair enough. I'm accepting this better luck next time. We should be top uh, seven easily, right? Let's go. We are back, fellas. We got our chevron, hip, hip, hooray. And the last, last, fellas, battle. Last battle, no? Um, let's go with iconic tank. I hope I'm not going to regret this and let's go with a um, shit burn. Uh, okay, maybe not shit burn. Maybe, you know what? YOLO. Let's go. I do not want to talk about my life choices and what I decided to do, okay? I do not want to talk about this, fellas. I just do not want to talk about this. Oh. Plus on top of that we had a bit of the lag as well. Interesting. Okay. What is good with this tank? Uh, at least this vehicle has enough penetration to penetrate crane hull down, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this typical bush here and I'm going to spank the crane straight in the face. He won't enjoy this, he won't have a good time, he will say and we are going to smile okay that's what we are going to do so let's see we are about to reach the position where we want to be and we are in position so let's see let's wait for crown fellas let's wait for crown what the flying f arta in the ranked battles is it even possible Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, is it even possible? Oh yes, two crowns. Trying to play aggressively here. Play aggressive. Play aggressive, crowns. No one is waiting for you. No one is waiting for you. No crown. No. No. That's okay. We have all time in the world of tanks. And now let me guess. After I shot, they decided to be more aggressive, right? This is, this is usually how the things are looking like, fellas. Whenever you are shooting, then crans are um, showing themselves. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Uh, there is a humongous chance. I repeat, there is a humongous chance. Um, enemy team is kind of losing it. I'm speaking about the side, obviously. Huh. Weird. I see that guy in the back. Don't you worry, fellas. I see him. Okay. We have E4. What E4? 63. Beautiful. Okay. At this point, we are going to go for a ride and we are going to say hello for Vaza. When Vaza will see almighty Jack Pizda peeking against him, he will caco his pants, fellas. I can promise you that. Pay attention at this. If he is not running yet, he will. Soon. I do not want to talk about this, okay? I do not want to talk about this, fellas. We will pretend it never ever uh, happened and we are going to be very happy in this way. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well. What can you do? Okay, let's have some fun. Let's go in front and let's try to punish this gentleman. If I would be him, I would run like there is no tomorrow. And this is exactly what this gentleman is doing. So what we are going to do, we are going to try to overcut him like this. Because I think this guy will try to go like this, honestly. I do not think he is going like this, although he might. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
And now he is running. Let me guess. And now he is running. Okay, doesn't really matter. That's such an idiotic call by me to play with this tank. But to be fair with you, we were quite unlucky as well. To be fair with you, we were quite unlucky. Okay, guys, I need your help. I need your help. Manticore, I need your help. Are you going to escape? Are you kidding me? There. No, Manticore, your time to shine. Manticore, your time to shine. Manticore. Beautiful. Beautiful. Very, very nice. Uh, that was quite idiotic, I would say, fellas. Uh, speaking about this game, what I decided to do and what have I done, okay? I am I am not proud of this. Um, I thought it is going to be funny. I thought we are going to deal with this without bigger problems whatsoever. But oh boy, oh boy. I should known better. Anyways, uh, we will wait until enemies will try to make a bit of pressure for us, I guess. There is only one way how we can do this. Obviously, if EBR will try to go uh, for our butt this way, this is not going to be... No, you son of the banana skill, you noob. Uh, if you were watching this part, I deserve a donkey. So let's go. Ay, 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 I didn't want to talk about this. Fellas, I must admit one thing. Uh, I wanted to extend the content, okay? I wanted to extend the content, that's why I went this way. Now you know, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, now you know. Uh, so unfortunate. Okay, let's go with the BR once again, uh, hopefully for a double and let's finish this shit. Fellas, I have a question. Can I swap maps? Can I get this with uh, Jack Pizda and the previous map with the BR, pretty please? Himmelsdorf it is. Um, probably no chance for double, but if our team is winning, um, maybe we can get at least single, right? Uh, what we are going to do... We will try to play here on the field and we will try to outspot um, enemies who are trying to play on the field as well, right? That's the plan, that's the dream, that's the hope. So, uh, at first we are going to go relatively aggressively, just like this. And we are spotting enemy BR. Whoa, okay, 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 big boy, I see, I see. I am feeling extremely well with my performance, what I decided to do. Although I am not very happy with my aim because I am aiming like a headless pigeon. Uh, which is quite a stupid thing. Uh, we know they have three guns here and I know I have high explosives with which I could uh, kill this tank. Oh, you do skill! Why you are sucking such a massive PP? Fellas, I am an idiot. I am an idiot. <sighs> Next game, <sighs> fellas. I didn't want to talk about the last game. This is this is like um, the situation when my head is already saying enough of World of Tanks for today's skill. Um, okay, so let's try to do the things properly here. Uh, we have um, we have the West Field. Uh, this is going to be pretty hard game. A lot of people are saying this pawn is a losing spawn, so yeah, this is going to be very, very hard. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Can we deal with enemy light tanks? This is the question, fellas. This is the question. Can we deal with enemy light tanks? Okay. Russian light tank over there. I'm smacking him. That's pretty good. That's very, very good. At this point, I would love to see. I repeat, I would love to see some support from our TVP, and I believe he will support us. Very nice. We are spanking him ourselves. He's down to 500 hit points at this point, and I am feeling relatively well. And enemy light tank is thinking how to escape from this bad situation because he is in truly bad shape, fellas. He is in truly bad shape. Hmm. 
the question for us is can we chase this guy and do we want to chase this guy okay leopard sitting here luckily for us tvp is a great supporter tvp beat the living crap out of the enemy leo he's down to one shotable at this point and we need to figure out how we could eliminate him from the game without dying for this Russian light tank. This is the question, fellas. And this is not that easy thing to do. So let's see. Udes is making a bit of pressure like this. That's fear. At this point, I am making as much pressure as I physically and possibly can for this Leo as well. He's down to one shotable. And in fact, I would say he is dead. Speaking of dead... There is enemy light tank in the open field as well, who is trying to run for his life. This is very hard game, fellas. This is very hard game. Um, we know about this Leo sitting somewhere here, right? So we need to spot him somehow, and here we go. We have a good spots on him. Too bad I am not delivering and I am missing my shot, but once again at this point I cannot complain whatsoever about this. That's my mistake. And all we need to do, we need to try to um, spot him running up the hill here. Because if I want... I'm pretty sure he is trying to run away. And as you can see, I am correct. Too bad I am not delivering speaking about them. Speaking about the shots, which is sad, but once again, it is how it is. Um, what are we supposed to do now? Can we spank him at least once? That was bad aim by me. No complaints, no regrets. Let's try to go up. And luckily we are spotting him just like so. I'm actually surprised. Our team managed to win this pawn, which is very, very impressive. And it was uh, pretty awesome, fellas. If you would ask me, that was pretty damn awesome. Our TVP by any uh, means helped us a lot. And we are... And we are having this score just because of our guy. Hmm... No, can I? Okay, at least we are picking up kill. We are definitely not top 2. It is impossible. We are top 7. That's okay. Only one chevron left and we are done. Fellas, I'm losing my brain cells already. You know, the mood in the start of all this probably was way, way, way better than it is with ending. And once again, uh, usually I do, not mark, uh, I do not mind ranked battles. In fact, speaking about ranked games, I used to play ranked battles uh, with the tank requests with all sorts of tanks and so on so on but this time i just simply had enough and i am very very disappointed with my performance overall and i have a feeling i will need to play some more in order to get into the gold league as well but i am going to do that on stream so that's completely fine anyways let's go to the last game hopefully okay fellas last game for sure uh, if i won't suck obviously what do we have? We have a very good map for ourselves. Prokurovka, pretty much a dream for any um, light tank. At first, we are going to go into the 1 2 line, and soon enough, we are going to make a hardcore pressure. They have two light tanks, we need to keep this in mind. Uh, but other than that, we are feeling pretty, <coughs> pretty great, if you would ask me. So. First things first, obviously, I need to take this position here. Um, I believe, I believe, fellas, we can do this without bigger problems whatsoever, and we are in position. This is exactly what we need, and this is exactly what I want to have. So, uh, we countered enemy BR, which is always nice and always welcome, right? The BR is sitting in um, in a deep shithole at this point. Meanwhile, there is Bobject over there. There is uh, Udes, who is playing here. So, our sniper schnitzels, all they need to do, they need to beat the living crap out of uh, out of the enemies at this point, right? That's, that's about it. Enemy light tank outspotted me pretty well. He decided to go through the middle of the field. And you know what is the saddest part of all this? Uh, he's still alive. But that's a good play. Uh, that's a good play, fellas. Nothing to add, nothing to say. That was good outspot from uh, this gentleman's side. Meanwhile, who is not spotted? Progetto, Badger, Leo, TVP. Four guns are not spotted at this point. Okay. How we can make it work? This is the question, fellas. Our EBR is um, doing absolutely amazing job, and I believe it's quite clear. 
um, our EBR will try to make, um, enemy, sorry, our Manticore will try to make enemies suffer and I have no doubts whatsoever. He will do that successfully. Now our team needs to kill this Bobject. If our team will kill this object or Bobject, I suppose to say, everything should be fine. Meanwhile, EBR is going trollolo. Once again, it shouldn't be too easy for this gentleman to do anything here. And at this point, I am just getting just tiny touch closer to spot uh, enemy TVP or enemy Progetto, right? Enemy Progetto decided to be aggressive. Uh, he shouldn't enjoy this uh, his position too much, to be fair with you. And let's see, can we spank enemy TVP here? We should be able to hit him, that's fine. Now at this point, we need to try to escape. It is completely fine. We are getting our ammo rack back, which is much appreciated. And at this point, our team is losing by 5,000 hit points. Well, that's what I call a great success, I would say. That's what I call a great success. We are having amazing map for ourselves, but unfortunately we are not getting that much use as I would love to say. Hmm. An enemy Ferrari is still alive. What the flying F is happening here? What the flying F is happening here, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And Sledgehammer, you mother trucker, you killed Baboon. I know this gentleman from the stream very, very well. Okay, uh, what can we do? Uh, hashtag never lucky. I was so happy. It is, we are about to finish this, but I don't really think it's going to be the case. Anyways, let's see the score. Okay, fellas, um, unfortunately that was defeat and all our hopes and dreams to finish this uh, game is pretty much uh, evaporating, if I can say so. Oh, if only I could turn back. <laughs> I'm joking! Number one player. Not even close. Thank you very much, fellas. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. Um, oh, look at this. We can take some rewards as well, which is always nice and always welcome, right? Um, that's actually interesting stuff. Uh, what I am going to take, I am going to take bounty aiming because I have a couple of the turbochargers already. Uh, so bounty aiming will work just fine. Oi, fellas, that was, that was quite a journey, I'm not going to lie. That was very, very hard and that was super annoying and it wasn't very um, enjoyable, if I can say so, but we did it and that's the most important thing, fellas. We did it. We did it. Actually, you know what? I think uh, we got this not from the ranked battles. I think we got this from the battle pass. But you know what? At this point, I don't even care anymore. Now, looking into our performance, this is very, very bad. Um, it took 30 more, 32 more battles than it did in the previous server. And that was bad performance overall. Now, looking into the leagues, in order to get into the gold league, uh, you need 130. Oi, 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 oi. Looks like it's not even close for being over for us fellas we are going to play um quite a bit in order to get into the gold leagues as well but this is going to be the stuff of stream uh this is going to be stuff uh, as a homework for me and that was quite a journey fellas i hated myself playing ranked battles and for a very first time i finished in the silver um league at least for now right that was horrible anyways it is how it is no complaints no regrets i'm glad it's over at least for now and now all we need to do, we need to get rid of the doubles and we are going to be uh, fine, hopefully. So thank you very much for watching, fellas. That was a long one. I hope you were very, very well entertained and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.